Have you ever seen a tower of blocks topple over or a gymnast perfectly balanced on one hand? What makes some things stable and others wobbly? The answer often comes down to the center of gravity, the point where all of an object's weight is evenly distributed. Understanding the center of gravity is key to building stable structures and designing systems that don't fall apart when the going gets tough. The center of gravity is like the balancing point of a structure. It's the spot where you could balance the whole thing on your fingertip, if that were possible. The lower the center of gravity, the more stable the structure. That's why a wide, low object like a pyramid or a couch is harder to tip over than something tall and narrow, like a vase. When the center of gravity is closer to the ground, it takes more force to move it outside the base of support keeping the structure steady. Think about a playground seesaw. Its center of gravity is in the middle, at the pivot point. If one side gets heavier, the center of gravity shifts and the seesaw tips. Now imagine a skyscraper. Engineers carefully designed these tall structures to have low centers of gravity by adding heavy materials at the base or designing wide foundations. This ensures the building stays stable even during strong winds or earthquakes. Here's the key idea. When the center of gravity moves outside the structure's base of support, the structure becomes unstable and can fall over. For example, when you lean too far forward while standing, your center of gravity shifts beyond your feet, your base of support, and you lose balance. That's why structures like bridges, towers, and chairs are designed to keep their center of gravity inside a stable base. The shape and weight distribution of a structure also affect its center of gravity. A solid cube has a center of gravity right in the middle. But a tall, uneven structure like a stack of books has a center of gravity higher up, making it more likely to topple. This is why construction cranes, which are tall and narrow, use heavy counterweights to lower their center of gravity and stay upright. In real life, we use these principles all the time. Vehicles like buses and trucks are designed with low centers of gravity to prevent tipping during sharp turns. Sports equipment, like skis and bicycles, are built to help athletes maintain balance by keeping the center of gravity in the right place. Even something as simple as your body uses this principle. When you carry a heavy backpack, your center of gravity shifts and you might lean forward to stay balanced. Understanding how the center of gravity affects stability isn't just about keeping things from falling over. It's about creating safe, efficient designs that perform well under pressure. Whether it's a skyscraper, a sports car, or a pair of running shoes, stability starts with the center of gravity.